All right, welcome to another visit in Istanbul, Eminönü, Turkey, 2023 in 4K. The ice cream guy speaks multiple languages. What's happening here? Something, is it gonna be this easy? No, no, it's not gonna be that easy. Wow, that easy. Are we gonna get a show? Let's get this show. Are we gonna get a show? Anyways, that's taking way too long. I'm gonna do a tour of Eminönü. We're gonna make our way up to the Grand Bazaar. We're gonna to tour the streets, the streets where there's tons of shopping. It's been a while since we've been here. Uh, this spot is directly to the right of the Spice Bazaar. Go on your way towards the Grand Bazaar. And I'm gonna show you all the sights and sounds of the shopping, the tasting. There's lots of free freebies here. You could come here and eat all day long. Beautiful baklava. Look at that, right next to it. Beautiful baklava, hi guys. And then the fish. Anyways, let's take a look around at the crowd because up in there it's going to be crazy. It's going to be super, you're going to see in a second. Stay tuned. But we're going to make our way to the fake markets, the cheap markets. We're going to do maybe some shopping. Right now I'm standing in the middle of the walkway here. I'll do a 360 to give you a kind of a view of where I am and where I got started. <laughs> The sneezing, the coughing, right on cue. Alright, so I'm gonna try to avoid the crowd, show you guys the beautiful Turkish delight. $2.90 for a kilo for lokum, or $4.50 lira for a kilo of baklava. This baklava, you can't go wrong. Look at this, all sorts of cheeses this is the cheese cheese and uh, olives look at these olives you guys know I love the olives yeah. there we go there's a bee in here look Multiple, multiple bees. So we got baklava and lokum. And then we got the cheeses back to back. I wonder if these are the same stores. They look very identical to the ones I just walked by. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, look at these. Look at these. Green olives, red olives, purple olives. Grilled, grilled olives. These were 99 over two stalls over, so. All right. Now it's gonna start getting busy. This is a, a cheshme or a uh, fountain. Looks like it's been closed though. People can come here and it's an old Ottoman time fountain where people can drink the water, cool off. Anyways, we're gonna move up this way, slowly. He says his olives are the best. But there's olives everywhere. What else? We've got tourists. Now I have no idea what these things are. 
Excuse me. What are, what are these things? What are those? Fig? Uh, patlajan. Patlajan. Aubergine. Okay, it's this dried aubergine. Look at that. You're gonna do a tour? Okay, hold on. Let me see. This guy really wants to give me a tour. A little. I'm not sure if I should be going in there. But this is the spot here. Okay. Okay. You want to give me a tour of the store? Okay, what is this? Hold on, hold on. What's in it? What's in it? Absolute. Absolute vodka. Looks like cranberries. Pomegranate. Ooh, pomegranate. You want to... Hold on, hold on. I'm going to drink, don't worry. I'm going to drink, but I'm taking a video. Why don't you give me a tour of the store? Tell me what all the spices you have. Is that okay? Yeah, show me the spices. Tell me... Tell me what the spices are if you want. I'd appreciate that. Ooh, pomegranate, yeah. Firstly, what's what's your name, my friend? Mohammed. Mohammed. Okay, Mohammed. This is Greek spice. For fish. What's inside this spice? For fish? What's what's inside? Okay. Hmm. That smells interesting. Salad. 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 Sumac. Sumac. Okay. Oregano. Oregano. Saffron. Mix. Saffron. Wow. Okay. That's for salad. For Turkish salad. Chicken. KFC. That one doesn't really have a smell, but I'm guessing some sort of curry. Maybe. This tea is really good. This pomegranate tea is really good. What is this one? Curry. All right, smell vision. I can confirm that is curry. How about sa is that saffron up there? No. Mm. Barbecue. You put this on chicken? So that's that's the spice corner there. They also have saffron. This is uh, Moroccan. Iranian. Iranian. Is that the best? And how much how much for this one here, for example? One gram. One gram. Four grams. Four grams? This for a gram. One gram two hundred. Two hundred? How much for four? You give special? Eight hundred. Less? For more? You give a deal if you if they buy four? Four gram? Eight hundred. Okay, eight hundred, so that's uh yes. Yeah, in dollars, Canadian dollars, that's forty dollars. In American, it's maybe thirty. Where from? Canada. But we're on this. No, Ontario. Quebec is French. We're the English speaking. But it's good you know. You've had Quebec before here. I know. No, no, I know. You know. I know. Je suis parlé français. Oh, tu parles français? Oui, bien. What other languages do you speak? Okay, so for uh, four grams, it's twenty-eight dollars U.S. Tell me if that's a good price for saffron. I'll send you guys some saffron in the mail. That seems like it's a good price. I don't know. That's a normal. Normal. Okay. What other languages do you speak? English. English. Français. Qu'est-ce que c'est français? Qu'est-ce que c'est français? Where, where are you from? Are you Turkish? Where from? Algiers. Oh, that's why. Okay. Zidane. Algeria, <laughs> Tunisia. Okay. Mama Algeria, Baba Tunisia. So I was saying earlier that a lot of the people that work here speak good Arabic. Yes. And so accordingly you have to find people that speak Arabic. How long have you been here? Long time or how many years? Turkey. Two years. Oh two years. Okay. 
All the shukran, I gotta go. We'll talk later, okay? Beautiful, friendly, friendly service in there. Really good. They got good spices in there. So we got a story. Father from Tunisia, mother from Morocco, I think. So what we're going to do now is show you this coffee place on the corner and then I'm going to go directly up towards the Grand Bazaar. But you come here any day of the week, any time pretty much, there's a line up here as you can see. These guys are selling Turkish coffee. This is the best Turkish coffee brand. It's what the locals, the Turkish people drink. And most of the people in line are probably from Turkey. They're selling a lot of coffee there. That line goes all day. I'm enjoying the pomegranate tea that our friend gave me. He said he speaks French and uh, Arabic and English. Look at this uh, cold pressed, cold pressed oils, um, black seed oil. That's uh, in vogue right now, healthy black seed oil, freshly um, cold pressed, I guess. Uh, and then, I don't know what that other one is. I think it was flaxseed. So, up this way is the Grand Bazaar. And then this way here, there's a lot of fake goods. So let's go check out the fake good markets real quick. Uh, nice Nikes. He says he's got some stuff. Mm. All right, I see some good shoes here. I see some Travis Scotts. Mm. Yeah, those those look good. How much for your? You have the cat. There are those all cactus. Same price. Two thousand two hundred. Oh, real leather, eh? Mm. Wow, two thousand two hundred. How much that is that in dollars? Dollar eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Oh, okay. That's actually not bad. I'm actually looking for a pair of these. So this is leather here? Yes. So can you do me a favor? Because you're the expert here. Can you tell me, uh, you know, about the qualities, how good of a copy this is? Can you tell me about the shoe? It looks really good, guys. The stitching looks really good. And then there's a, a serial code there, right? That's the serial. And then, does the tongue come out? What? Does the inside, come, the tongue come out? Can you take this out? Okay. So the stitching here. I have a YouTube channel where I show these shoes, so. But yeah, these look really nice. And then here's the bottom, the pattern there. Looks pretty good, looks really good. It smells good, doesn't smell weird. Are these uh, Vietnam? China. China. Is China better than Vietnam or? Same. Same? The, the back looks good. China. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I mean, these look pretty good. 80 bucks. I really want to buy a pair, actually. But I'm taking the video now, so. But those look nice. What's your, uh, do you have a stall name, or how do I, how do they Number find 50. you? Number 50. Okay, so we're next to the Spice Bazaar. I just came out of the Spice Bazaar. He's uh, stall 50. Those look really nice. All right, thank you. Yeah, I would say those are uh, good quality shoes. I really want a pair of those Travis Scotts. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to go back up to the Grand Bazaar now. But if you want a pair of shoes here, he's got a lot of Travis Scotts. All right, we'll see you later, man. Not too pushy, which is always good too. Sometimes they push too hard. When they're not pushing hard, I think that's also a sign. It's also a sign that, that he's got good stuff in there. All right, so we're gonna make our way up to, this, to the uh, Grand Bazaar. These things are kind of cool. They got a lot of these kinds of places here. I'll show you those. Kind of like um, stone, uh, precious stones. All sorts of precious stones. Like I said, there's a lot of these stores here. Look at that. If you're into crystals, Istanbul, Turkey is the place to come to get your crystals or stones. Let's get some prices here. Uh, about 15 lira for one of those rocks. It's a jasper. That's a real uh, florite. I'm not sure what florite is. Like I said, there's a lot of these places. These ones are, these ones are uh, a little bit more. Whoa. Almost fell there. Okay, let's take a look at this one. And then they got wholesale upstairs. Those are giant. I wonder how much those are. Is there a price? No, it just has the weight. 39 kilos for this one. So I wonder if they do it by weight. That's for another video. It's going to be a slow paced crawl here. It's full of people. But we can check out these different stores here. More uh, stones. These are the quartz rollers. You put those in the fridge and put them on your face. And then gua sha tools. Anyone know what a gua sha tool is? If you know what a gua sha tool is, you get a thousand points. We got uh, vapes. In Turkey, the vapes are illegal, but they do sell them everywhere. So if you're into smoking vapes, you can find them here. So we continue to the Grand Bazaar. All right, we got some fake handbags here in Istanbul, Turkey. Yo, man. Well, this tourist here with his backpack just totally bumped into me and then pushed me. Super rude. That's actually what I found. Uh, anytime that I've been hit and pushed, 
like excessively has been by like a foreign tourist. It's quite interesting actually. He literally dug his elbow into my back and pushed. Anyways. We move on from the rude tourists. Look at these guys with the hats. Those are cool. Yes. Yes. We continue our walk up to the Grand Bazaar. We got a place here on the right selling simit, beautiful simit, the Turkish, kind of looks like a bagel. Beautiful, delicious snacks, you can get them anywhere. 10 lira is a good price. More shoes. Bags. I actually need some socks too. I saw that on camera. I saw that on camera. <laughs> no thing. I saw that on camera. I don't know if you guys saw it. Lady knocked over the socks. I have proof. All right, slowly we make our way up to the Grand Bazaar through the winding streets of Istanbul, Turkey. This is the European side, but it's much older than the Asian side. So it's got that old thousand year old city vibe, kind of like Rome. So we're going to go up this way. Go up this way here. I'm gonna follow the courier. Not sure what he has. So each little section has different types of products. We're now making our way into the textiles. So there's towels. Here we got lingerie on the right. And then what else? Like we got towels here, and uh, Turkey is a producer of a lot of textiles and fake goods. We got shoes, all sorts of fakes everywhere. I still do think that the prices on the Asian side in Kadıköy are better. And it's less hectic over there. But here, my guess is that if you go to five stores back to back, someone's gonna give you a really good price. So do bargain. <clears throat> for example, I was looking for UGG slippers earlier, and they were selling those to eight for 800, and we got them all the way down to 550. Same exact same ones. So, someone says their price is firm, doesn't mean that they're firm either. You gotta haggle. Haggling here is encouraged, it's part of the culture, so it's not a rude thing. It's actually expected. If you don't haggle, then you're gonna lose out on some liras that you could have bought a, whoops, bought a um, dinner with. <clears throat> oh. 
straighten out my my gimbal has my gimbal has gone a wall because I went. Sorry guys, just straightening out my gimbal. It takes a second. Okay. So we continue towards the Grand Bazaar. Which way do I go? I think we go down this way and up to the right. We'll try this way. Pretty sure it's this way. As you can see, as much shopping as you want to do here, including wedding dresses, scarves, head scarves, head covers, Ronaldinho. Hello. Uh, yeah, this is the way. And of course, shoes, more shoes. We got fruit here. Hello. Come to Istanbul. This is very good, very nice. This is Mahmud Pasha. This is Mahmud Pasha. This is Döner Kebab. This wow. is Pita. Wow. Wow, wow. Ciao, ciao. This is Metin Bey, Arah Bey. We run, yes. <laughs> Metin Bey, scan. We run. Metin Bey, Metin Bey, check. Metin Bey. This is my friend. This is Meyva Siyo. All right, he's, he's shy. Thank you. All right, wow, look at that, exciting. He does that all day. He's still got energy. He's selling the juices and uh, the doners. Right on the corner there, guys. When you come to that corner, well, it's not gonna make sense. I'll just keep going forward here. <clears throat> of course, my videos are all one take. So when things happen, we just go with the flow. I've already been checked by a foreign tourist in the back anyways here we go some dresses for the ladies there is a another fake bag store here on the left that we're gonna check out we'll make our way there beautiful beautiful let's check it out here All right, we're going to make our way up to the Grand Bazaar. I think the foreign guys that come here, guys, and I'm speaking to anyone who's going to be coming here, don't get intimidated by the streets here. It is chaos, but the worst attitude to have is getting angry and bumping into people, kind of in an angry way, because... You're used to having empty roads in most of the world. And you come here and it's overwhelming. Like the worst reaction is to be angry. You need to adapt to the street rules. The rules here are you walk slow. If you bump into somebody, you say, excuse me. That's pretty common, but I think the anger takes over. And there's elbows. being thrown. Anyways, I will leave that there and we continue our way up to the Grand Bazaar. We got beets. Look at this. A lot of beets. Kind of like beets. Allah <laughs> vergisi. 
We got uh, fabrics, exotic fabrics from the end of the Silk Road. Buy your fabric, then get your custom suit made here, and then buy a pair of uh, nice shoes to go with your suit. This is the spot, you know. You can do all your shopping. All in one place. Get some watches. Get some get a belt. Continue on our tour. Wow, look at this store here. Dolce and Gabbana. Dresses, bags. Go inside? Okay. My camera's on. It's okay? Okay, thank you so much. Look at this, guys. We got a fully blinged out we got fully blinged out stuff going on here. We got Rolexes. He encouraged me to come in, so they do have good stuff. Look at this. Rolexes. Ray-Bans. Bags. A lot of nice bags. What else? Perfume. Ooh, look at those trucker, uh, the caps. Those caps look nice. I like that one there. How much for this uh, blue and orange cap? This one. Lira, yeah, Lira. 600. What brand is that? Burberry, okay, nice. Let's see here. Guys, let's uh, Burberry hat. 20 bucks US. 20 bucks, right? comes with a tag that looks nice might have to pick that one up all right 20 bucks you maybe bargain that down to 15 we got bathing suits here for the ladies I'm gonna continue let's see what else they got we got oh wow this is the store we've come we found the spot we've found the spot lots of hoodies and stuff too do you have garbage for this? Thank you. Let's see here. These look like nice hoodies, actually. Balenciaga. How much for these hoodies? Oh, welcome. Hi, how, how are, are you? Doing, mate? Good. This one is 2,000 lira, brother. I'm coming. 2,000 lira. So it's 100, 100 Canadian. Seems a little excessive. Could probably get a better deal than that. We got our Gucci. Got t shirts. Got a side entrance. Anyways, this store has a lot of good stuff, I would say. We'll make our way out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks. Bye bye. Guys, that's actually a good spot here on our way up to the Grand Bazaar. Let's see. I'm going to take a shot of that. And the outside looks like that, right next to San Siro Perfume and Shawl store there so you can look that up on Instagram or sorry on Google Maps and you'll find that spot okay so we're gonna continue going on that's a good stop uh, stop for fake everything actually they don't have the shoes but 
Uh, they have a lot of clothing there. That's really good. I've been here before. These guys have really nice watches and stuff inside. I won't go in there again. You guys can look through my other videos. It should be like Grand Bazaar, epic shopping, and it's linked up to find that store. Uh, it's linked up under Rolex, I believe. They do have nice Rolexes in there. Every time I come here, I find uh, a different kind of a spot. There's just so much here, so much. Here you get a bargain on this side, because a lot of tourists come through here. Here we go. Those are kind of cool slippers. And then they got the Uggs. But they don't have the Uggs I'm looking for. So I will continue. Hit the thumbs up. Give me a subscribe if you're watching this far. Appreciate that. It's a couple of nail biters hanging out. And we make our way up to the top of the hill, to the arches of the Grand Bazaar. Pretty sure. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Here's another spot here for bags. Yeah. Got some more shoes on the right. Got boots up there as well. Oh, and then we have these Uggs. Let me see the quality of these ones. I've been looking for these Uggs. These are like $200, I think. But here, they're 550 lira, which is like 30 bucks. Today's exchange is uh, $1 for 28 lira and one euro for 30 lira. Seems a little less busy up here. But a lot of tourists, good for them coming here with the baby. Wow, these guys too. That's, that's hardcore. But, if you come here with your kids, you can buy them cool stuff. Look at this guy. Look at these two. Yeah. Then we got the dresses here, wedding dresses. You could come here, a destination wedding. Istanbul is the next destination wedding spot. Wow, this place looks high-end. Pushla, Pushla by Romeo. Lots of fakes here, lots of knockoffs. Like I was saying, the uh, exchange rate today is 28 for the dollar and about 30 for the euro. And look at this, look at this guys. Here. So Turkey does have a good uh, medical 
kind of facilities where you can get hair transplants. That guy, I think, had one maybe. Who knows? All right, so we're at the Grand Bazaar. And we're entering the Grand Bazaar. Just came through Mahmoud Pasha. That detector was going off, but he's not really checking. Anyways, so here we are. We're in the Grand Bazaar now. Where there's money everywhere. There's gold everywhere. And the crowds thin out. Well, look at this gold. I don't think you've seen gold like this before. In the Grand Bazaar, what should we look for today? What should we look for in the Grand Bazaar today? Carpets, Turkish carpets, Turkish coffee. What can we find in the Grand Bazaar? Jewelry, we could go, go on a jewelry hunt. We could look for Uh, coffee grinders. We could look at antiques. We could look for fake shoes. We're gonna look for something. I'm not sure what yet. It's gonna come to me. Just wanted to get through that crowd a little bit. Could look at some restaurants actually here. What? Look at these Turkish carpets. How are you today? Cracking for you? The Grand Bazaar has a lot of Turkish carpets. Hi. Beautiful carpets. Look at these. It's a seating area, very nice. Oh, it's actually not a seating area, it's like a, a coffee spot. Look at this, beautiful tables, chairs. Very nice, very nice spot. These are the uh, eggplants, dried eggplants, just found that out today. And then, hi. And then it's across from beautiful bags, high quality bags. I'm gonna say anything inside here is gonna be higher quality because they have to pay a lot of rent, so they're not gonna be selling lower quality stuff. You're gonna pay more in here for sure because of that rent, but you're gonna also get better quality stuff. A lot of people come here specifically to do their shopping. Uh, buying a Turkish carpet here is going to be cheaper than back home. And they send it straight to your house. Anyways, what are we going to hunt for in here? Sort of just wandering right now, looking at... Kind of wanted to see some food spots. That's kind of a cool food spot here. The Grand Bazaar is like really ancient. It's an ancient building. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but it's kind of a nice spot there. So it looks like they're fixing the structure a little bit. It's one of the coolest shopping experiences, experiences that you could have. I really mean that. Um, I've traveled quite a bit and there's nothing like the Grand Bazaar. If there is a place that's like the Grand Bazaar, and you know, let me know in the comments. But this thing has been around for hundreds of years. And look at the 
different types of stuff that they're selling here. Beautiful, beautiful carpets. And uh, he's fixing one, it looks like. He's fixing his carpet. So these um, carpets are either, they should be 100% wool or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, I'm blanking on the word right now. <laughs> Silk, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, there's also carpets that are made out of silk. Look at these, look at these beautiful carpets. If you want one of these carpets, I should do a giveaway. I don't know if it'll be a carpet. If you like the idea of a giveaway in one of these videos and you've, you've watched this far, give me a thumbs up and comment, giveaway please or giveaway, yeah, just put the comment giveaway. It won't be a carpet for the first one, but it could be a bag, it could be a pair of shoes, it could be, yeah, it could be a pair of Nikes. It'd be nice. Come here, we could shop for it, and then I could give it away. I do wanna do that, actually. So, just give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and put in the comment giveaway. And then, yeah, look at these. These are uh, copper, copper pots for cooking. Uh, the top chefs around the world in France, Paris, they use these copper pots. Let's see, this middle one here is 5,600 lira. You guys can do the math. More carpets. Let's go down here. Let's go on a hunt for a coffee grinder, actually. A Turkish coffee grinder for Turkish coffee. We're going to find an antique. Turkish coffee grinder and see how much how much and just by chance there's a guy that sells them right here how did I know how did I know let's see here now he's got a lot of stuff in here look at this if you want anything Turkish coffee pots or grinders this is the spot. Let's see if I can see one around here. Last time I was here, he had a whole bunch. I don't see one yet. Hmm. Well, I don't see one, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going and then I'm going to ask, maybe someone will know where the Turkish coffee grinders are. Turkish tea. Look at this. This is Turkish tea. What are these things here? Amber. Oh, these are amber. Amber, uh... Oh, I can't take pictures though, he says. Okay, I better... So these are all amber. Beautiful. These are giant silver centerpieces. Do you have a chalet or a, a big 
dinner table and you need a centerpiece, look at this. A lot of amber stuff. Do we see a coffee grinder? I still don't see a coffee grinder. We're on the hunt for a Turkish antique coffee grinder. There we go. That's one right there. Look at that. So the question is, how much? Excuse me, sir. Yes. How much for the this Turkish coffee grinder? Which one do you ask? This one. Well, this is the only one I see. Do you have any others? Yeah, I have like this. Oh yeah, yeah, too. down here. The other one. These are starting price three hundred dollars and was three hundred dollars and was and these are authentic. Old pieces. Old piece used. Not for use for collection. For collection, never used. It was used. It was used, cleaned. Now yeah. it's for collection. Okay. And are they silver? These are made of brass. Brass. I'm on the hunt for a, a nice old Turkish grinder. I'm taking a video, is that okay? Yeah. So starting for 300, this one here, how much How much for that one there? This one is $600. $600? Yes, because it has writing for it. Wow, guys, I did not realize the Turkish grinders were that much. But this is better than anything you're going to get on Amazon. This is authentic, used by Turkish people. Yes. The Turkish people love their coffee, the Turkish coffee. 600 okay. Do you have anything for $100? Nothing for 100 Because I want to do a giveaway for these guys. I want to give them something. My, at my YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I want to give them something. So if you have a hundred dollar piece, maybe. This is old key. Oh, it's an old key. Yes. This is a hundred. Ottoman. Ottoman. Yeah. Key. Look at this. This is this opens the key to oh. Istanbul. <laughs> yes. Wow, okay. And this is, it says 415. No, it's a code. Oh, that's the code. code okay. This is 65 dollars. 65. Guys, do you want a key? I can come back here and get this key. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment for giveaway or key. I don't know if it's going to be the key. I want to give you guys a, a coffee grinder, but I can't find, we got to find one a little cheaper. 600 is above my budget. But this is real authentic Turkish um, antiques. Can I go in here with the camera? Let's see, what else? This is really interesting, guys. This is, you know, this is a very narrow passage here. And these are old, I'm guessing used copper antiques, Aladdin's lamp. Perhaps. Man, if you're decorating your house and you want an old vibe, Ottoman vibe, this is the spot. Thank you very much. What's the name of the store or the number? Ardun Collection. Ardun. Collection. Collection. And number uh, 46. Number 46 in the antiques part yes, of antiques the Grand part. Bazaar. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. All right, so we continue. After that mini tour, YouTube Istanbuler, Istanbuler, Istanbuler. Okay, so we continue on the hunt. I think it's going to be hard to find those because people really want those coffee grinders. It's going to be hard, but I think I can do it. The store's closed. We got Turkish gold. They give these gold pieces away at weddings. And uh, you can buy and sell those. It's, it's also got the Ottoman writing on there. or the And uh, people use that like cash. And yeah, we're just wondering the back 
alleys of the Grand Bazaar here looking for the Turkish coffee grinder. This is all amber I just uh, found out today, so that's kind of cool. These are all amber. Okay, well, last time I was here, this place was open. They moved. They were selling Rolex watches there. Okay. Excuse me. So, the Turkish coffee grinder search is a failure in that alleyway. We'll see. So that's the um, antique section of the Grand Bazaar. Now we get a, we've come out to where all the jewelry is. I'll go down to one of these side streets. to find uh, shopping and maybe we'll get like a, a brand new one not an antique one Let's see if we can find that coffee grinder at the Grand Bazaar in Turkey let's go down this way Go down this way. Oh, these things are cool. It says signs everywhere saying don't take pictures, but I'm taking a video. Oh yeah, the tea guy. The tea guy. Yeah. Hi. Good. Hi. From Canada. Canada. I'm doing video, okay? Okay, that's okay. I said carpet. You want to show me some carpets? I can only stay five minutes. Can you show me your best carpets? I'm doing a video. I can show you. I can show my my guys on YouTube, Carpet and Handcrafts 109. You want to show me some carpets? Show me. window uh, better. Okay, no problem. I tell them that uh, it's either 100% wool or 100% silk, right? How much is like a silk carpet? Just so they know. Uh, you know, something for a living room. Oh, very expensive. 25,000? Maybe, maybe. About 25? Okay. Thank you, my friend. All right. I'll be on my way now. All right, so. We didn't get the tour that we we're looking for, but that's okay. I don't want to waste the guy's time, but it would have been a good sales opportunity. Maybe next time. These are really cool. These plates for the walls. We could do uh, one of these for a giveaway. Tell me what you want. Give away, put give away, and then tell me the thing that you want. Maybe we'll do a giveaway for that. Here's some silk wool cashmere place here. Scarves, uh, pashminas. Pashminas, right? No pashmina? I'm taking a video. I'm taking a video. Okay. All right. So let's see what the pashminas they have. I know the ladies love pashminas this si this time of the year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, pashmina is kind of scarves. Scarves. Yeah, in Turkey, they call everything as a pashmina. Okay. Everything. All scarves. But when and you this is real pashmina, silk. These ones are silk and cashmere blender. Mm, silk and cashmere. Let me. I'm gonna tell them what it feels like. Seventy percent cashmere, thirty percent silk. Yeah, it feels. There's no bamboo in here, right? No bamboo. No bamboo. Okay. It looks good. And the most important thing on this one, okay. if you look closer, yeah, there is no print on it. There's no print. That means these colors will never fade. 
How so use? the they, each one is a string, right? Yeah, these ones are woven, but machine woven. Machine, okay. Yeah. I do have hand woven ones as well. But that's uh, more money. Yeah, sure. These are machine. As well. Where are they from? They all coming from Turkey. Turkey. Yeah, from Anatolia, central part. Of Where do they make it? Kayseri. Kayseri. Yeah. Okay. If you prefer, we have also pure cashmere ones for winter. Beautiful. I'll let you touch softest material that you can Let me touch the softest. I'm going to tell them about it and then I got to go. I'm going to tell them this the number of your store. Oh, yes. What's the name What's the number of your store? 19, but 19. There is more than 119. In okay. Episode. So I'll, how I'll give you my card. Okay, we'll show them your card. Beautiful. Look at this, guys. If you're interested in scarves, they have some uh Okay, let's see. This is the softest. Oh, hold on. Oh, wow. When okay. You ask cashmere and Grand Bazaar, they're not going to show you. This is cashmere? 100%. 100%. Yes. I mean, I can feel that. Don't believe me. Believe your feelings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's used that line before. I'm 100% sorry. But, wow, yeah. This is pure cashmere. So this is wool, right? Hmm? This is wool. Like, cashmere is wool. Cashmere, yeah, cashmere is kind of wool, actually. Yeah, see, look. Produced sorry, I pulled it. Yeah, gods. See, I pulled it and a little bit. If you like, we have this. These ones are not handmade ones. Mm -hmm. As a material, perfect, but this is not handmade. How much is this one? I don't have... So tell me your best price for these guys, not for me. For Are these guys. For... I'm recording. For YouTube? YouTube. Okay. Are they going to come? They're going to come. With your name? They will come with If they money. can come with your name, we will give them 30% off. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you come here with, you say Istanbul, they're going to give you 30% off yeah. on the cashmere. Yeah. What's and I, your name? I touch this. This is the real deal. Yeah. Istanbul. Istanbul. That's the can that's the channel. Okay. okay. They're gonna know. On YouTube. Yes, on YouTube. Okay. Okay. 30% off guys. That's yeah. a good deal. And what's your name? Timur. Timur. Yeah, Timur is giving you a 30% deal. And then where's the uh, hand one? Hand woolen. I'll show you same I got excited there guys. When you get a 30% discount, are they gonna still haggle with you after the 30%? It's up to how strong they are. <laughs> Okay, so yes, a little bit of haggle room. Wow, These this are is some more winter scouts. Wow, this feels like um, it's cloud. Yeah, it feels like a cloud. And they all stitch. Ladies, you if you put this on your body, and yeah, I mean this is amazing. So how much for this one? You want to give me a price? In do give me dollars because okay. Turkish there are changes. Normally asking price of this one sell around two hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. But for yourself. Here comes the calculator. With, with your name, it's gonna be 154 pounds. Uh, 150 dollars. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Direct. We accept cards. We accept everything. This feels amazing. And you're saying this is hand woven. This part. Oh, these base, ones. The base okay. Is plain. Plain. Unless they're working with hand. Okay. So then they have the hand stitching on yeah. top, guys. I'm not even, you know, joking here. This is, it feels really good. Come out and check out the store. Thanks so much That's for the pleasure. tour. And hopefully some of the guys come okay. and see, Should okay? I give my card? Uh, yeah, you can give me your card. I'll put it in the description. You can, yeah. And I'll, I'll show it like this. And they may find us. We're at the entrance of Old Bazaar. Okay, they're the entrance of the Old Bazaar. Old Bazaar. Like okay. just here. Yeah, the famous Antique market. Okay, perfect. All right, thanks so much. You're welcome. All right, that was a good tour, guys, of some of the pashminas. Those things felt, felt really, really soft, really nice. And uh, if you're here and you're looking for that, give that guy some business. He's a good guy. He's giving us a 30% discount right off the top. And he said, continue on the uh, bargaining. He said if they're good, so you know that means there's more room there. So 150 for that hand woven cashmere. Before you go, before, you go, can before I, I go, any information about I'm doing I'm doing a video. Is that okay? You can do okay. video plus buy carpet. This is even better for your video. Well, you will buy also carpet. Go. Why not? If the the guys watching on YouTube might buy a carpet, so show them something good. Yes. Are you online now? I'm not online right now, but this will go. This is right. silk? Yeah. Woo! This is Crazy what we're looking price. for. Yeah. Silk carpet, Turkish. Door to door price, really is the price. 
God bless the America, brother. Yeah. Uh, just listen, I want to show you something very unusual that you cannot see in the market. This is one of our translucent silk carpet. If you put LED light tubes behind, it's going to glow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Turns on different art pieces. That is really cool. So, how would they display that? Yeah, you just uh, set up the uh, LED LED lights. LED on lights on the back. Perfect. You take them on over. Wow! That's look, it. there's Arch. fine detailed birds. Arch. Yeah. Really cool. That is cool. And this is a big silk one as well. One of our silk carpets. This That's a big another, boy. Yeah, this is another translucent rug. You can hang on the wall and bot for the floor. It's a good silk carpet, but wow. it's totally different from two angles. From there, it's different. Yeah. And now I'm going to turn it to the other side. Totally different. Color changes. I'm going to have to. Okay, I see. I'm just seeing how it shows on the camera. Beautiful. Wow. How much for something like this? For thirty four hundred dollars includes shipping. Includes shipping. Yeah, this is one of our creative art pieces. We paint by hand. And we all color by hand. Normally silk carpets come always oriental, not vintage modern. We converted this to modern and vintage. So it's silk is something a new idea we are working on. Beautiful. Yeah. Where do these come from? This is our production from Eastern Turkey. Eastern, Eastern Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. So these are Turkish carpets? Turkish carpets. Now I'm going to show you one of very exclusive, unique, high quality, high person from 100 carpets, wool carpets. It's very rare, very detailed wool carpet. This is a wool carpet? Yes, but as fine as detailed as almost silk carpet. Yeah. It's very high quality. Okay, how much for this one? 100% handmade, handmade it's, it's $3, wool. It's $3,000 include shipping. $3,000. Yes. So let me ask you, yes, yes. because you, get, you talk to a lot of foreigners, these back wherever they're i'm from canada so if they're from the states or canada it'd be double right for these maybe three even four three or four okay yeah, so absolutely. if you want to get the carpet you come you find these high quality look at the i mean the detail here is insane yeah. look this at is something you can use for to your grandchildren exactly this something 80 years is nothing for high quality wool like this you can use for really long years the colors will age like a like a wine, like a cigar, the colors will age, it will get better and better the more you use. If it is high quality material and dye. So this, this is a collector's item. This collector's is item. That you can age it. It's for years and it's gonna look better and better. You can pass this on yeah, as a gift. Absolutely. You can see on our sofa we have a killing from grandma. It's over fifty years old. And the colors are even much more beautiful than newer one because it's aged beautifully, it's vegetable dye. So the colors still remain much even neutral and much beautiful than the brand new one. So the vegetable dye, as it ages, ages yeah. it looks even like wine, better. More delicious with the colors, with the way it looks. And the wool, organic wool, gets silky and softer. Mm -hmm. So it becomes silkier the more you use the wool. There's an aniline oil of the wool. Mm -hmm. So in the good quality wool, like this one is from neck part of the sheep. Anyway. Wow. That's why it has maximum aniline. The, the more you use... The so it's the oil. It, yeah. It gets, it's raised more, it gets silky and softer and softer and nicer and nicer. And wow. it observes the good dye of vegetables. So that's why it's so rich and real mm, tones. Mm -hmm. But the, in, during 10, 20, 30 years, it's going to get even better and more deeper. Not too brighty. It's going to look my, much nicer. More so it doesn't get bright. It, the colors pop. Yeah. So you said this is handmade. 100%. How long would it take to make this carpet? This is like approximately four and a half months. Four and a half yes. months. For one girl. One girl is making yeah. this all by herself. All by herself. 100%. This is cotton. Wool, and, wool, wool, oh, wool, this is wool. Yeah. Wool, yeah. And the how much? The material for the color is the wool. And how much did you say this one was? $3,000. 3000 delivered straight to their door. Yeah. So they come yeah. here, pick it, they we come talk to you. Your doorstep with you tracking info. Uh, we share with, with, with you through the WhatsApp. Four or five days worldwide. America, Australia, five, five or two days in your doorstep. All right, guys. So that's, that's really good information. Let me show you. Why don't I get why don't I get your, your contact? Let me show them your contact. We are, we are on Instagram. We do share some of our in the carpets through Instagram as well. Perfect. Yeah. You can see me here. It's Hereke Rugs. We love carpets tag and Hereke Rugs. Hereke Rugs, Rugs yes. on, Insta. on Instagram. Yeah. That's my QR code. And he's got through a WhatsApp. Code. You can email, immediately contact me through WhatsApp. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much my for name the is tour. Zen. Zen. Yes. All right, Zen. Just let thank me you. know. 
from this gentleman, I will give you extra reduction, I promise. Okay, well, how much reduction? Think I, will do, I will do 20, 25 immediately. 25%? 25% Immediate promise. for the Istanbuler gang that's going to come here. Yeah. Okay, thanks so Even much. Even through internet or WhatsApp, I will help you. Okay, and guys, just so you know, uh, the shipping... So they do ship any of these carpet places you come to, they do the shipping. You can see her here, my communications through WhatsApp with my client. 24 hours to New York it took. He was so surprised and I, even I was surprised, 24 hours it took. Perfect. It's on, on Who do you a, ship uh, with, DHL or? FedEx and uh, UPS Express only. Okay, okay. And, and it's, it's free shipping, right? Free it's all shipping. included. Absolutely. It's for us very easy thing we have. For our Certificate client. of origin. This is our grand, uh, our uh, uncle collection. He made in 1995 till 2000. He made one of the finest cards in Guinness record books. Uh, prime, prime, uh, prime minister of today's country. He was president. He was giving pr 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 prizes to my weaver and my uncle, and he was like one of the yeah one of the finest cards in the world. They offered one million dollar for this tiny little carpet because it took him five years to finish. Wow. We have now in our savings. Yeah, if anybody are interested, we can also provide, we can show this carpet to them. That's great. And this is our uh, extracting silk from the silkworms cocoons. Yeah. You can see the process, how we... They boil extract. those, right? That's yeah, boiled? Yeah, uh, warm water. Warm water. And then the cocoons get softened, and we use the special brush, kind of brush. We take the ends of the, uh, the cocoon silk uh, silks, and then we roll them, we, we spin them, like here, mm -hmm. and we... we we, we, we make the drop and, and then it's uh, dyed in the vegetable this dyes. This is the wool, yeah, process, we dye them. Yeah. And then those the are herbs. the those are the um, machines. This is the production for the semi ones, the, the girls making by with hand work. Mm -hmm. This is small studio for just wooden ones, all hand knotted ones. You can see the lady pr making one by one, not by And you by said nut. this one was four months. This is four, four and a half months. Four this and a half months. Is, you can see making similar one already. So that's why these carpets are 3,000, guys. And it's going to last forever. So but yeah, art piece, the quality see. here and that translucent one up there, was that was really cool to see. Can we yeah. see that one more time and I'll head out? Yeah, look at that. That's silk, though, up there, right? Exactly. Really cool. Okay, thanks a lot, Zen. Thank Zen, you. right? It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. We'll see you later. Thank, Thank you. you very What's much. Your, uh, you, you, you channel? YouTube Istanbuler. Type Istanbul and then L E R. This one here, yeah? I do now. Great. Okay, take care. Come for a coffee. Uh, okay. Coffee Guys, that was a good little tour, unexpected tour of a beautiful carpet spot. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we still haven't found the coffee grinder that we're looking for. Don't, I didn't forget about that. Maybe this spot will have a coffee grinder. Could be possible. Mm. Mm. It's, that one is a busy store. We're gonna skip that one. We're gonna skip that one. We're gonna skip that one. But uh, yeah, that was cool carpet. Um, they do ship. I'm not gonna vouch for that guy because I've never. That's the first time I've met him. We just saw that together. I can't vouch for him, but uh, I know they do ship from the carpet places. So, uh, yeah. If we go back there one day, which I probably should, he wants to have coffee with me now. Uh, maybe we do a, a full review of some carpets, like a detailed video. And if that's the case, um, then I can figure out how he does his shipping and vouch for him. But just so you guys know, that's the first time I've met that guy. But he seems like a good guy. And I know they do ship all over the world, all the carpet places. Because obviously you come here as a tourist, you're not going to, um, you know, put in your suitcase. Look at this pottery. You could really come here and uh, decorate your house in really nice um, pottery, 
and towels, pardon me, uh, carpets. All right. Do we have a grinder here? Let's see, let's ask him. He seems really bored, so he should be able to help me. Excuse me, do you have a coffee grinder? Coffee. Coffee grinder? Oh, something bigger? Let me see, can I see? Is this a real grinder? Real. Oh, okay. Real copper, uh, this is brand new. Oh, but this is probably for pepper, no? For pepper? Or coffee? Coffee? This is for coffee. All right, I think we found one, guys. And we'll see how much... This looks like it's... How much for this one? 250. Uh, and it's copper? Bronze. Wow. For coffee or for pepper? For pepper. Bigger, yeah. Do you have bigger for coffee? Where do I find? I've been looking all day. How much do you think? Okay. So this is 250 for but for pepper. Okay. All right. You were gonna show me. You saw the teapots from there. Uh, when you turn first left, uh -huh. on the right side, there's on the a right. special. Okay. Okay, thank you. Coffee grinder, okay. Thank you. All right, guys, see? Very helpful. By the way, we've been here before. These uh, backgammon boards are insane. Uh, mother of pearl inlays. All right, so we're going to go up here, he said. Go to the left. There we go. I see it. I see it. I think I was just there though. Anyways, I'm gonna find this grinder, leave a comment, say giveaway, and uh, if I find it, oh, I see them right there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, we found it. We found it. We found it. All right, I'm gonna get down to bargaining with these guys and uh, comment, giveaway, and one lucky viewer will get this Turkish coffee grinder. We'll catch you on the next one, guys.